Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so my presentation is, is more um, about the PNG's overall tech um, sector. It's not necessarily about myself, um, but I will weave in a couple of what, things that I've, do, I've, I've done over the last couple of years uh, throughout the presentation. Um, okay. So um, basically my presentation will start off with um, generally what innovation is, but particularly um, what tech innovation is, um, just so we're all on the same page, because innovation means so many different things. Um, and then I'll, look particularly, I'll talk particularly about uh, why innovation is critical to Papua New Guinea. Um, and then I'll touch a little bit about the developing culture of PNG, the, the innovation, the developing, uh, sorry, the culture of innovation in PNG. Um, and then a look at a couple of tech innovations undertaken by our local tech SMEs in Papua New Guinea. And then finally, a way forward for PNG as to how we can establish a solid um, and flourishing tech sector um, for the future. So uh, just a little bit about myself. My name is Crystal Kerer. Um, I may be young, but I feel um, that I have a lot of experience under, uh, under my belt so far, so I don't feel very much an 18-year-old. Um, so I'm the co-founder of Kryzen Technology Limited, and uh, currently I'm working as the chief technical officer. Um, so Kryzen is basically a software company, a fully operated and owned software company based in Port Moresby. Um, I co-founded it back in 2014 with my father because I couldn't start a company at 15, uh, so I asked him to join me to start the company. Um, so Kryzen uh, basically specializes in open source um, ERP systems uh, and enterprise resource planning systems, which basically is an integration of um, finance, the f uh, integration of, of different uh, departments of an organization, such as finance, HR, project management, accounting, et cetera. But we also specialize in uh, desktop applications, mobile apps for cross-platform cross mobile apps for Android, iOS, um, Windows and also web apps. Um, so at the moment I have over about six years of experience working as a full-time software engineer. Um, I am a, an active advocate of ICD startups uh, and tech SMEs in PNG, and I spend a good number of my time, uh, a good amount of my time uh, advocating for STEM fields as well. Um, my recent uh, trip uh, was down to uh, West New Britain province. I was fortunately sponsored by New Britain Palm Oil to run a one-week workshop um, commemorating the International Girls and ICT Day. So basically what we did was we got over up to about 25 um, high school girls from around 10 different schools in West New Britain and talked to them about, um, ran a week-long workshop about ICT and technology and innovation. Um, so. I do spend a good, good amount of my time going around and speaking and advocating about STEM fields. And at the moment, my company and I are an active member of the PNG Digital ISD Cluster. So um, the ISD Cluster is um, a PNG organization that has a bold vision to transform PNG into the Silicon Valley of the Pacific. So a very bold vision, uh, but I think we can get there. Um, but in this presentation, I'll just present a brief overview of how PNG is developing a culture of innovation, um, and but particularly tech innovation. So, what is innovation? Innovation is defined broadly as the implementation of a new or significantly improved product, service, process, methodology, or business practice. Now, there are three types of innovations. The first type uh, is the modification and adaptation of technology, of innovation. The second type is the modification and development of competitive advantages. And the third type is the unique development of a global significance. So a classic example would be Apple, you know, changing the mobile industry um, with, their, with, with their Apple products. Now, technology, sci techno the, te the technological, scientific, and organizational innovations are examples of innovation act activities. And I will focus particularly on technological innovations in PNG by members of the PNG Digital IC cluster, for which my company is a member. Now, why is innovation critical? Innovation is a critical driver 
for social and economic growth and prosperity. It is also an important factor in sustainability. A country that does not innovate would stagnate and regress at the peril of its citizens. Papua New Guinea is fortunate to have natural resources that have sustained our economy comfortably since independence. However, most of these resources are non-renewable and will soon run out. Without innovation, I think the country will be doomed when resources run out and there is no inflow of new ideas, businesses, opportunities to sustain the modern economy. There is a need to recognize and harmonize the efforts of all actors in the economy to promote and sustain innovation as a critical element of national development. Presently, institutional actors such as the government's science and innovation agencies, research and training institutions, and the ICT industry do not harmonize because there is a lack of innovation policy, strategic framework, and systems that promote innovation to enhance economic growth. But as we've seen from Dr. Webster's presentation, uh, PNG is developing a national innovation policy. So that's a great progress in the right direction for PNG. However, so the innovation policy um, is focusing on inclusive economic growth, which aims to develop, support, fund, and guide the development of non-extracting sectors such as cocoa, coffee, copra, fisheries, timber, and other ordinary commodities aided by ICT through the development of regional innovation hubs. This means that PNG's tech industry will be a key contributor to the changing development landscape in Papua New Guinea. Currently, we have a small but vibrant community of ICT startups with a membership of over 30 who are doing their best to innovate. We have organized ourselves in the PNG ICT cluster with several of our members already contributing in the education sector, conservation, microenterprise, and other areas using enterprise web apps, drone, VR, et cetera. Through the PNG Digital ISD cluster, our members are working to raise awareness about what our tech companies are able to do in country and to link up, link up with various international organizations, such as the University of California, Berkeley. Now, listed here are just a couple of um, of our PNG ICT cluster members and the, and the techno technological innovations that they're currently working on. Most of our members are involved with modifications and adaptations of existing technologies for the, dom for the domestic market. Um, so, so, so far, we haven't invented anything in the likes of uh, Facebook or Microsoft, um, but I do see the day when a PNG tech innovator will attend this conference to announce an innovation of global significance. Uh, I'm happy to see that the national government is building the backbone technological infrastructure, such as the 3G rollout project, um, the national broadband network, and the undersea high-speed data and voice transmission cables. This infrastructure should be used to facilitate technological innovations. Um, but I'd, I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about an exciting project that my company, Kryzen, um, is working on in partnership with Google, the APEC Secretariat in PNG, and the APEC Secretariat in Singapore, um, as well as um, the Asia Foundation uh, based in San Francisco. So the project is called the Digital Billum Project, and uh, the idea behind it is to develop a national platform for Billum Weavers, or what we call Billum Mamas in PNG, to promote and market the traditional Billums on a global scale. And we're working on a model that we will test um, during the APEC Leader Suite. So there'll be a major launching um, where we will see APEC delegates um, will have the ability to purchase billums um, while they're in the country. But the focus is, is, is uh, fundamentally on promoting traditional billums and not those made of synthetic fibers. Um, there's an issue at the moment with um, our billum weavers in that most of them do not get the equal share of um, the billums that they make. A lot of times, their billums are sold through middlemen, and the middleman gets most of the share and just gives them a small, small percentage of it. But also, there's the issue where tourists that come to Papua New Guinea uh, cannot connect with the traditional and cultural significance of those billums. Um, therefore, the focus is on promoting um, particularly um, traditional billums in Papua New Guinea. Um, and there is a possibility that we will be working closely with uh, Westpac PNG and also MasterCard to integrate a custom um, 
internet payment gateway and internet processor um, for this national e-commerce platform for our Bill and Weavers. So te technological innovations diffuses into all aspects of the society and economy. Therefore, it must be encouraged. Innovation flourishes where there is a, con a concentration of talent, energy, and vision. PNG must therefore develop strategies and policies that define, concentrate, and propagate technological innovations. To drive social development and economic growth, and to prepare PNG for a life after mines and oil and gas, a concentrated effort is required by the national government to develop national innovation mechanisms, such as the national innovation policy, to define a clear path for developing a culture of innovation in PNG. Experience from Taiwan, Malaysia, and other Southeast Asian countries should be a good model for PNG to follow. Finally, I would like to recommend the efforts be made to explore the possibility of developing a national innovation policy. And of course, our government is currently in the process of doing that and will soon launch that. Also, a national innovation strategy, a national innovation system, and innovation clusters and hubs. Thank you.